This is an amazing concept. The zone map and how it works with the FPGA card. You see, the query's been written and it says, I want to select everything from orders where the order total is less than $300. So that's when, first of all, the FPGA card jumps into action. It's called FPGA because we know the query is looking for the column order total less than $300. So what are they going to do? They write that to each SPOO's FPGA card. That's why it's called Field Programmable Gate Array. Now that they have that on the FPGA card, before they bring the block into memory from the disk, they're going to actually say, hold on a minute. Each data block has a zone map. What's a zone map? A zone map lists each column's min and max value on every block. So as you can see, we've got our block on disk here. And what I have done is I've color-coded each column's min and max value. So it's a little bit more apparent for you. And what they're going to be able to do, as you can see here in the zone map above, they're going to go, yeah, I've got a bunch of order numbers. What's the min value and the max value in this SPOO's block? And it goes, 103 is the min order number, and the max is going to be 115. And they go, oh, that's really clever. What about the order totals? Well, the min's going to be 231.62, and the max is close to 12,000. So they say, hey, listen, do I need to bring this block in to satisfy this query? And they go, you do, because the min-max value falls within the range for this query. And that's the real secret to what Natiza does. You know, I told you, the less blocks that move into memory, the faster things are going to be. So the Natiza zone map shows you where data is not. Most systems try to find out where the data is. But Natiz is an expert at saying, there's no sense in looking at this block because it would be impossible that it would have the data that you would need. And I know that because of the zone map and the FPGA card. Oh, you're going to get this down now. Let's take a look at this. I've got four spoos, four memory pools, I've got four FPGA cards, and here's the query. Select everything from the orders where the order total is less than $250. Take a look at each one of those zone maps, the min and max values for the order totals. And I got a question for you. How many blocks are actually going to move into memory? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You nailed it. I'll bet you were smart enough to guess that it is only the last spoo that realized I might have this data in here and it moved that data in. But three of the other spoos said, look, I looked at the min max. It falls outside the range. I know the data is not in here. That's how it works. Oh, this just got trickier because you're going to up your game. Now, here's the question to you. I've got my spoos out here. They've got their zone maps for these extents. And now there are three questions asked, and you're going to have to answer all three of them. Question number one, they want to know if the order total is less than $800. Ooh, then they're going to want to know if the order number is equal to 115 and then they're going to want to see if the customer number is equal to 513 300 045. I need you to take a look at that. Let's put on our thinking caps and I want you to tell me in each case how many blocks or extents are going to be moved 
into memory. Good luck. In our first answer, where the order totals less than 800, there was only one block that could possibly have moved. It's the only one that could possibly hold that data. And in our second example, where we would like to know if the order number is equal to 115, there was only one block in there. And finally, we're going to check where our customer number is equal to that number all four of them could not really eliminate them. It's like a trial. Can we eliminate this suspect? And they go, you know what? It's a possibility that data could fall within this based on that min and max value. So all four of these are going to have to read that data in to examine if it can satisfy that query. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Need to learn SQL for Natiza, Teradata, or Aster? Visit coughingdw.com for our helpful training guides. With TerraTom, SQL stands for So Quickly Learned.